Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I've decided to tackle planes for the first time, not counting the shuttle. And so I've decided to start with this, the flying carpet, which was a design of mine from KSB-1 for many, many years ago. Uh, whenever they introduced this landing gear, I think it must have been, and these engines. Uh, so yeah, without those, it would be tough to make a design this small. But with those, we have this here, uh, which uses very small wings, very small vertical stabilizers, and of course the command chairs and a little battery in front. So, how will this go? Well, let's find out. Alright, ignition. Of course, it is very unwieldy with the Kerbal heads, causing drag and probably just disrupting all the airflow over the wing. I'm not too sure it ought to work because of that. Oh, it's very sticky right now. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't use my joystick right now, so it's tough. On the other hand, this has a thrust to weight ratio greater than one. <laughs> I can't, I can't steer to the right. So I'm not sure I can do very good maneuvers. You can see I'm trying to go right. Well, let me yaw to the right. Yawing more to the right helps. Okay, so I guess that's what passes for a coordinated turnaround here. I'm just so not used to using my joy- uh, so not used to keyboard and much more used to using the joystick and so I have to think about doing things that I would normally do automatically. It's a nifty little design with a lot of Delta V as you can see. I don't know if these engines can go past Mach 1 though, even though we have oodles of thrust. The good thing about oodles of thrust, even if you can't go past Mach 1, is that you can recover quickly. Let's go over and see, I had previously seen some lights on the island runway island, but I didn't see the runway, so I wanted to see if we could take a look at that. I'd sing a whole new world, but um, I'm afraid I'd get a copyright strike, so... I think covers are okay, but... Oh, they look like they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, I think it's limited to mock. Well, we'll uh, go up higher. Because it's tough to break the sound barrier at this altitude. We'll go up higher eventually, especially after we've depleted some fuel, and we'll see how it goes. There's also that sub-island over there. Those are like old, old islands by their coloration. Oh, there, there is a runway here. It just wasn't very distinct. Okay, we're going up. I mean, I think it can ascend practically vertically. Here we go. Uh, straight up here. Yep, no problems. No problems ascending just vertically. Performance will diminish though. Oh, 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 oh. But the thinner atmosphere also creates less drag, which is important when Kerbal heads are right there. Yeah, it's not accelerating much here. Let me see. Maybe you can accelerate in a dive. Let's, <laughs> let's break Mach 1 in a dive the old fashioned way. Nah, this thing ain't going past Mach 1. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. We have the thrust weight ratio to go past Mach 1. We just don't have the engines. The engines are limited. Well, let's skim above the very dangerous surface of the water. Well, yeah, they're still having fun here. I have no idea what kind of danger they're in. Because <laughs> we have to land at some point. I wasn't expecting it to work quite this well, to be honest. The way the Kerbal heads bobble when I move is... Oh, their entire bodies, really, is funny. Chase. 
So the root part of this is the girder segment. I don't recall if I used the girder segment on the original version or whether I had like a stack of batteries or something. Something small, obviously. It keeps wanting to roll to the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm missing the runway here. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 abort, abort, abort. <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling good about this. The chase view is sort of nice. I get the idea. You can take a look and then uh, once you do input, control input, it'll get your camera back to behind the plane. So that's actually nice. You can just take a brief look at the runway over there, and we're a little bit low. My controls just aren't doing very much right now. Did I? Oh, I accidentally hit caps lock. Shoot. That's why. With all this keyboard stuff. Well, music. Context music has changed. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 okay. Brakes? We're not breaking. Abort, abort, abort. Oh, we've lost one engine. Uh. Ah. Uh, brake torque. These don't have brakes. It's just, they're just steerable landing gear. These do have brakes. Okay. M. The new and improved flying carpet. <laughs> now with brakes. Alright, I am underfueling the jet fuel. And we're gonna try and land at the island runway again. Alright. Brakes. Yes, we have brakes. Okay. Here we go again. Very nice. The controls will still give me trouble. I feel like the necessary use of rudder here is perhaps a bit overdone, but... Okay, well, trying to come in here. And I'm not quite lined up right, but I think this will be acceptable for now. Okay, flying carpet. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, break. Oh, don't don't, don't lean forward. Okay. Okay. Don't skid around, please. Okay. 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 Steer. 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 I don't know what's causing us to go forward right now, but oh, I guess we got a little bit of thrust left. Oh, we're just rolling. We're just rolling. Okay, brakes. All right. Okay, we made it. We made it to the island runway safely. The flying carpet works up to, but not through Mach 1. And there you have it. My first plane in KSP-2, not including the space shuttle. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.